my friends so do you sometimes wonder whether you should be posting daily or weekly and I mean I'm sure you've heard people telling you you gotta post daily you gotta post daily and other people telling you posting daily is crazy once a week is good enough your fans can't even keep up with your content if you post every day and I think both of those arguments are definitely valid and it's really it's really not my you know my it's uh, my expertise or my say or whatever this, that's really going to be the answer but I'll tell you how I see it and that might help you to decide whether you should be posting daily or whether you should be posting weekly and then after that we're going to talk about how I post daily <laughs> obviously I'm a little bit biased on the daily side but uh, I still do believe very highly that weekly is a good approach too really depends on what you're trying to accomplish and we'll talk about that in just a second but after we'll also talk about how I post daily and how I post daily everywhere and how you can post daily or weekly everywhere with one piece of content how you can do that every single time and it's not doesn't look like it's content that's really only you know that's shared everywhere obviously people can tell but at the same time you have there's a way to make it kind of specific to each of the platforms so how do I do that how can you do that and we'll talk about that and whether weekly or daily is better so we'll talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies, techniques, and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now? My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. All right, so in case you didn't catch that, my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and I do daily videos. Now you might be thinking, why would somebody who's doing daily videos talk about daily or weekly? how how would I have any benefits to listening to this guy talking about whether it's daily or weekly he does daily so why would he even talk about weekly right well I'll tell you why I've been doing this for a long time I've been doing online marketing <laughs> and personal branding since 2015 and you know I've learned a lot over the years I've learned how to do um what to do what not to do the kinds of things you should be doing on social media the things you shouldn't be doing on social media I even put together a 10 a 10 a 10 step or the 10 uh, the top 10, 10 the top 10 simple online strategies that you can do that will actually attract customers to you because the goal is to get people to be interested in you to know you to like you to start to trust you and they eventually buy from you but that's the goal that's the goal of personal branding can you do that with weekly content and can is it is it better to do weekly content because you know your fans can't keep up so I've heard that recently right I've been doing daily content oops sorry about my chair there I've been doing daily content like I said since 2015 I've been doing pretty much every single day I skipped a day here or there but I really have been doing daily content and in the last maybe three or four years I've been doing daily weekly content and on the weekend I've been doing more family stuff and I've been just doing a little bit of stories but no like you know uh, pillar content if you will right so content can be anything you know we've you've I'm sure you've heard that before you can, it can be a post on Facebook it can be a picture on Instagram it can be a video in a snapshot story it can be uh, a blog post it can be a video on YouTube it can be any of those things on LinkedIn on Insta on uh, Twitter right I mean it can be all those things and why do some leaders say don't worry about doing it daily right your fans can't keep up and you know that is true that is true your fans cannot keep up to your daily content and maybe some fans will be discouraged and say this guy posts way too much stuff I don't even have time to look at all this I'm not even gonna follow him right there's and the thing is that 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 that'll happen it doesn't really matter what you do right you'll get fans that'll get annoyed at what you do and they'll they'll not like your content they'll not want to follow you and that's okay that's that's just the part of the game but the thing you got to remember is that why are you doing daily content why would you be doing weekly content I believe that there's two different reasons those are two different approaches you'll do daily content to grow your audience find new fans find new followers you got to do daily content if you want 
if you want to really grow your audience you really have to be doing daily content that's anyways that's my belief right if you want to really be growing your audience you need to be doing daily content if you want to be nurturing your audience and keeping the audience you have then you got to do at least weekly content if you don't do if you already have a fan base 10 20 30 50 thousand a million fans and you do daily content yeah you're going to lose some of them because they're going to be tired of all your content but your like I said it depends on what your goal is are you trying to nurture your existing audience or grow your audience if you're trying to grow your audience you doing weekly content is going to be a lot harder to grow new content new audience members if you're doing weekly content so if you have an already existing audience and you're happy with the audience size and you're not really trying to grow it well, then you can do weekly content I believe that that's the reason why you would do weekly content I don't think and that's just my personal opinion I don't think that you should be posting only weekly if you're trying to grow your audience I can understand that you you feel like oh my god my fans they're going to think I'm posting too much stuff they can't even keep up and you know what I post content every day I post content every day a new episode every day different things similar things uh and it's it's all you know like a video a 30 minute video or so every day on a topic that has to do with building your business online has to do with personal branding has to do with traction marketing has to do with the tools and techniques that you need to learn to create courses to generate income from courses to generate income from course platforms right and I'm building a platform that you can use to promote your courses you can promote the platform you can earn really great income from it now I can't obviously promise anything like they said you can't promise income and I'm not going to talk to you about do dollars or numbers but I'm just saying it's a platform that you can promote and if people use it and if people get start using start uh, paying a monthly uh, subscription on the platform you get a commission right so there's lots of platforms out there like that I just built one because I wanted a platform to host my courses and I thought it would be great if other people could use it and that's that's that, that's what I do right I'm not saying you got to do the same thing what I do is that is build a platform grow my audience and do daily posts I do daily posts because I'm growing my audience I want to keep growing my audience right now I don't have millions of followers I just have thousands right 20 20 30 thousand or so right if I look at the different platforms I have the number of followers on TikTok on Instagram on Pinterest on on <clears throat> on um, on LinkedIn if I add all that up to Twitter Facebook if I add all that up I'm like in the 40 50 thousand range I think it is or maybe more I'm not sure I haven't really checked recently but that's my audience that I'm growing and growing and growing so that's why I do daily if you're like I said if you have an audience and you're wanting to nurture that audience then weekly is good and if you don't have time and one of the things the other thing that I I've heard too is that if you do weekly content you can do better quality and you know what it's true but if if you're willing to spend all this time during the week to pr produce a one single piece of content it's going to really have to be really good and it's going to have to be really polished and it's and imagine spending like say you have two hours a day that you can spend on your business and you spent it all on that one piece of content you're doing for the week every single day you spend the time on that it's going to be amazing content for sure because you're going to have to spend so much time on it you're going to have to spend like you know 20 hours on it right well maybe not 20 15 let's say right that's going to be amazing content but what if you're not really making it that much better right because if you're not if you haven't been doing content for a long time you're not really going to be able to do really really great content by spending just more time on it you really are going to get better by doing more and more and more and more so that you get more practice you get more creative in your writing get more creative in your in your imaging and whatever it is that you do right by doing it daily right as often as you can daily is really what I would recommend and then it's sharing it so that people see it I mean creating content is one thing but if nobody sees it it's really not not gonna do anything right so that's why I'm putting together this syndication process that you'll be able to join in if you want right now it's still in the pre-beta phase 
so if you're interested you reach out let me know that you'd like to know but this is what the syndication process looks like let me just show you a little bit if I go to um first of all you're going to want to get an account uh well actually no let's not even talk about it let me show you here first what the syndication my syndication process looks like so when I talk about syndication I'm talking about sharing taking one piece of content and sharing it across a bunch of different places my syndication process looks like this where is it right over here I've got my whole syndication where is it complete there it is right here let's just share that it's loading up I probably should have loaded up I didn't expect necessarily to show this to you but let me just uh show you that so this is the syndication process that I use right oops the screen isn't exactly right there we go okay so the syndication process that I use is basically all about here let's put that over here it's basically I I create a video every day right and I create a blog post every day and then I take all that go through a process and I extract all these pieces and then I generate all of these outputs now there's even more now there's there's podcasts or other uh audios and there's uh I forget but anyways I'm, I'm adding things right I'm adding things I'm adding like like Twitter video right I'm I didn't do Twitter video until now um and the thing is that that is continually growing and the idea is that you can't easily do this yourself I mean I've been doing this for a long time so I created these scripts that let me automate all this like right over here as you can see right here I've got this automation thing right I'm, I'm putting right here I've got this run process to generate po to generate post thumbnails text or posts text for post and short video right I've got this script that generates all these pieces right over here right all these pieces get generated so, so that I can then share to all these platforms right I can share to all these platforms in one basically just a few clicks right I mean I can before I can do before I could do that I had to learn all these things right and you know maybe you don't maybe you want to learn all those things and if you want to learn all those things that's going to be available too right now it's <laughs> like I said it's still a work in progress so that stuff's not uh that that's not available right now for you to access and by the way if you're listening to the audio you're going to want to make sure you go check out the video for this episode which is a cis I believe 243 let me just uh, make sure go back here it is cis243.jsgagnon.com so you're going to go check that out cis243.jsgagnon.com all right you're going to go check that out to go see the video on how I take content from the video from this from this recording right here to <laughs> all these different uh outputs that I can generate and you can do that too by joining the syndication beta program so all you got to do is here's what you got to do so how do you join the beta program how do you join the syndication program to do all this well what you got to do is you got to go and create yourself an account on click eCourse so let's log out <coughs> I'm going to show you how that works let's get this little buddy out of the way here <coughs> sorry about my cough there I'm uh, I'm just not sleeping enough I don't have the COVID or anything like that it's not even a cold just okay so what you do is you go to the site to you go to clickycourse.com so this is the process right this is the process you want to have and the other thing too is that this is going to be a paid service that you're going to have to pay for but by joining the beta program you get free access to it for six months I might extend it but it'll be six months at least in the beginning when it first comes out it'll be it, not six months from today it'll be six months from when the the program is complete and works complete completely because right now it's still in development so I wouldn't count from today I would count from when the program is active for now you uh you need to register and you need to request to be part of that program so you click on register and then you would just say continue as whatever your Facebook account is right so um and then once you've registered you're, you're going to get an email uh, no that's not true sorry let me back up let me back up because it's uh, it recently changed so you click on the register button and then you just click continue as whatever your Facebook account is and that'll pop up a thing here which will ask you whether you're accepting oh look at that failed to connect I don't know what's going on I'll have to check that let me try again 
register no failed to connect I guess I gotta fix that log in is that gonna work that's not I don't know why okay all right so I'm just gonna log in right now with my account uh, I'm gonna have to check that out why why that's happening <laughs> but you just click on register log in and then after that you go to uh, the support you go here plus support and you enter a support request saying I want to join I want to join syndication uh beta right I want to join syn syndication beta so I saw your video cis 243 and would like to participate in syndication beta so all you got to do is that and you send that off you submit the ticket and that'll go into our inboxes it'll go into our and uh, we'll I'll receive it as a notification right here right um and then I'll get the notification and I'll you know we'll maybe have a conversation I imagine everything's fine but we do want to make sure we have a conversation make sure that you're fit and then that's it then then you're part of the beta once the beta is in you'll get notification whenever the process is started whenever things are available but the idea will be that you will go into there you would you would upload or you would uh, select a video as your content your content I don't know what I guess I'll have to find a word for that but it's going to be your content hub or your content source maybe and then that video you'll be able to specify okay I want to take out of that video I want to take a two minute video for Twitter I want to take a five minute video for Pinterest I want to take a 10 minute video for LinkedIn I want to take this part of the text for LinkedIn this part of the text I want to put this footer in there I mean it's it's a little complicated but it's a it's setting it up and then after it's set up you get to create all these things like for me I do this right I create it's all done on my computer but I mean if I look at these these are the files that get created from my uh process uh, they're run on my computer right now because I'm it's still not um, integrated with the site but basically you it creates you got the video right here that I recorded yesterday then I got a thumbnail right here that's a thumbnail from the video right then I've got a SoundCloud uh, podcast uh, thumbnail right and then I got a trim video the two minute two minute trim video right one minute 50 whoops let's move that a little bit so you can see it better one minute 50 right there then I have a five minute video and then I have the WAV file for upload to SoundCloud and then I have a bunch of text files right I have these text files let's just show you it let's say Pinterest the, the, the so the text file has the title has the text to put in has the URL to use as the link for Pinterest <laughs> if I look at the LinkedIn post basically again it has the title it has the the topic it has the the some of the text then it has some um some footer stuff that goes in every single post then it has the what to post as the first comment uh then what else I mean I same thing with Facebook I had the Facebook text right here it's all automatic it takes takes it out of the pot the, the blog post or the text the text source so you have like I said right you have text source do I still have that file open no it closed it for closed it on me oops sorry this is the, this is some geek stuff as you can see um let me go back here to here so I mean um yeah that that image got closed on me because I went and clicked around but if I go back to my 20 platforms a day here this image here <coughs> right so if you do I create the video right that's your video source and your text source it can be either a blog post or maybe it'll be the text in the YouTube video if you upload it to YouTube then it'll grab all that and generate all these pieces so that you can post to all these platforms right it'll take on YouTube for example you need the full video plus the video thumbnail plus the text right well it's actually here text plus YouTube right these pieces of text that are generated from the process are used in each of the, these different posts right in the LinkedIn I take the text the LinkedIn text the LinkedIn text the short video and then I post on LinkedIn in Facebook I take the Facebook text the short video and then the video thumbnail and I post on Facebook 
same thing with Pinterest I take the Pinterest text though right it's not all the same text it's because each platform has a different maximum length some of them have a title some of them don't things like that right and when I do the Alexa or the Spotify Google podcast iTunes right they're all part of the uploads of like for SoundCloud I upload the WAV file directly to SoundCloud and that shares to iTunes but for the other ones Spotify Google podcast Stitcher I upload the full video just the video I don't have to I don't have to strip out the audio I just put the video and then the video thumbnail to click Igor's and now I have this um this um post for like I said for Spotify Google podcast and all that right and that's kind of how that's kind of how that works right that's how it works that's how it can work for you you can create daily content or weekly content and then every time you create the content you want to post it on all the platforms but you can't post a 30 minute video on Pinterest on LinkedIn that just doesn't work so what do you do you got to split the video up so how do you do that you got to learn how to use the tools you got to learn how to do this how to do that or you take part of the syndication pro program and just get yourself in the syndication beta and later on you know if you're if you're watching this or listening to this a year down the road from now in 2021 well that beta program is probably over so that process that program is there you go to clickycourse.com you register an account you uh you'll need to upgrade to the I, I don't know what which which one will be required but you're gonna need to upgrade your account to to have the syndication options there <laughs> I mean the syndication options actually right now I don't know if that'll stay like this but right now the syndication options are um where's the syndication syndication number syndication where's the syndication there it is syndication so the syndication basically is um on the basic plan which is ten dollars a month you get four syndication videos that you can create so you take basically it allows you to do syndication with four source videos right so your source video can be a five minute a 30 minute video well actually it depends um the maximum of the maximum video 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 maximum lessons no the length where's the length maximum length of uploaded videos so it's 10 minutes on the so on the basic plan you can do four videos of, a, of 10 minutes max each per month on the <laughs> um, this next plan up 30 dollars a month you can do 12 videos a month that are at least that are no more than 30 minutes <clears throat> and then at the other plans you can do more one hour four hours 35 and 120 right so depending on how often you want to do a syndication you can try it out do the basic plan at 10 bucks and just do one video and see how it goes how you like it um and if you're listening to this right now as I'm kind of this week when I'm doing it when the beta program is still on then you can actually join the beta you'll actually get the access to the premium account the, the highest level one here uh for free for six months at least six months it might be longer depending and you're going to be able to test it out and you know get to know it get the obviously I'm looking for you to help me build a better platform if you have any questions or issues that I want to hear your feedback I want to know what you think so that you can uh help with the the you know with creation of it right and that's kind of how you can do posting daily on all the platforms out there there's so many platforms there's more than this I mean I don't have Twitter in here actually Twitter was one of the platforms that I started <clears throat> not too long ago uh, I mean I'm doing it uh, with automation right here where it automatically goes to Twitter every time I post and I've got other things uh, that's not even uh, explained on this diagram but I mean I post everywhere 20 plus platforms using this process and you can use it too you can get access to this process all you got to do is you got to let me know that you're interested in getting access to the syndication or the auto share process maybe I'll give it another name I'm not sure because syndication might not be clear to everybody but yeah so you just have to reach out get an account well actually just go register an account on Click eCourse and send a support ticket saying you want to be part of the syndication process all right hopefully you enjoyed this and if you have any questions always reach out I'm here and we'll see you in the next episode
This has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.